Let's from Thailand. Today's video is going to be about online dating in Thailand and the good points and the bad points about it and the things to be aware of online dating here in Thailand. Now as the gates are starting to reopen in Thailand on the first day of this new track and go system there was 23,000 people applied for the track and go way into Thailand so there's a big big demand on people coming here to Thailand now I've been talking to quite a few people that are actually online dating people here in Thailand and they're asking my advice on this and how to go about it and whether they should trust their girlfriends or not so I've had a lot of lot of people talking to me over the past three or four weeks over this so I've decided to make a video about this anyway so I'm going to refer to some notes that will keep me on, on track as to what I'm going to be doing. But here in Thailand, it's not difficult to fall in love with a beautiful girl. But what makes it difficult is finding the right girl to fall in love with. There are many, many stunning, beautiful ladies here in Thailand. And you as single guys in the ages of 50 upwards to 70 odd year old looking for love, and the companionship and friendliness in Thailand on online dating sites. It's like a minefield. I've actually done an ebook for this video and it's five simple steps to online dating. And towards the end of the video, I'll give you details on how you can obtain your free copy of this 56 page ebook. And it's full of interesting facts and things, what to do and what to look out for. Many, many things that you can look at. And for those people who have already subscribed to my channel, I'll send you a free copy. Just send me an email on the link below and I'll send you the ebook. And it's interesting reading. So for those people not already subscribed, subscribe, send me an email and I'll drop you a free copy of this ebook. And it's very interesting to read. So onwards with the video. So, as what, so why is online dating so popular? Well, as with everything else, the situation has forced people not to mingle, go to bars and pubs and nightclubs and restaurants. And the online business and working from home has just shot through the roof. And many, many Thai girls are now working online and doing their business and connections with other people online. It is a massive growth industry, not just here in Thailand, but all around the world. It's, it's a fantastic way to meet people. Now I can speak from experience for this because I've actually done online dating here in Thailand and I also did online dating in England before I came to Thailand. So I know how it works and how it goes. So if anybody wants to ask me any questions, please feel free to do so because I'm open and honest and I'll give you the good and the bad and the ugly about online dating. But this is talking about online dating here in Thailand. So the beauty of online dating is the fact that you can look through many, many, many different profiles and narrow down the profiles that you want to talk to. It's not like going into a bar or a club where you have to start talking with them and getting the brush off because they've already got a boyfriend and they're not interested in you or they're not interested in you in the first place. It does away with all that lot. So for those people who are shy and bashful with regard to chatting up women especially in our older age we haven't been doing it for years because majority of us have been married for donkey's years and you sort of get out of touch on how to do it so the online dating side of it is absolutely fantastic for breaking them barriers down and you've also met somebody when you're talking to them online and so it sort of breaks the ice in the first place but i would suggest be clear about what you want with regard to looking at the girls on the internet whether you're looking for a full-time partner or whether you're just looking to have a bit of fun because wherever it is the girls are looking for the same thing as well they're either looking for a bit of fun a bit of money or a full-time relationship with somebody everybody needs to be upfront with what they're going to do now i've lived in thailand for 10 years and then my first relationship in thailand lasted for a couple of years and then after we split up i was sort of in between girlfriends if you like and I tried this internet dating and I'm going to put some videos up here later on in the video with regard to find your Thai girlfriend and a short video about how I found the perfect wife and a video called Thailand Revenge and it's about a person who sort of took revenge because he wasn't very happy that the relationship broke down so I've done many videos with regard to living in Thailand online dating so I hope you enjoy them all but as I say, I'll put some links 
later on in the video so you can actually find them and be able to watch them. So what is it you're looking for? Marriage or casual dating? They're both very, very far apart. Um, th there was one stage when I, I wrote my profile out on Thai Friendly and what happened there, I put two different profiles up. One was to say that I was looking for a full-time girlfriend and I wanted to have a serious relationship. And another one that I would just pay a certain amount of money for casual relationships. Believe it or not, I got more replies for the pay money for casual relationships than I did for finding a, a long-time partner. So, again, it's whatever you want. Um, be careful for what you're looking for. So how to get the most from the internet? First of all, you have to be honest with yourself and honest with what you want and look into everything that you're going to be doing. Planning to go onto the internet, it's a big step internet dating and I wish you the best of luck in doing it. There are thousands and thousands of people doing it. So if you think you're the only person that's talking to this girl, well then you've got a shock to come because there'll be hundreds of people talking to the same girls. I've had people who email me and telling me on, on the internet, yeah Les, I think, I think I'm the only one that's talking to her. I can assure you, you are not the one and only person she's talking. For instance, I met a girl on the internet and we went together for a year and she was telling me she was receiving about 150 emails per week with regard to requests on taking her out and wanting to do all sorts of things with her. So you are amongst many others on the internet and many people are shocked and surprised and let down once they come to Thailand and they start being with the girl that they thought that was their girlfriend online and they find out that they aren't the only one. So again, be prepared for that. It, it can be a big, big letdown. It's all about more than looks and things like that. You have to have a look at yourself in the mirror and look at the reflection and think, what's the best points about you? Don't start off with a lie. Don't start off by saying you're 10 or 15 years younger. People know people who lie when you first meet them because there's tells. Start off with being honest with yourself and honest with the person that you're talking to. I met a girl on the internet and she was about two stone heavier when I first met her and she said, oh, now you're just looking at size, you're looking at size. No, I said, I'm looking at, you, we've started off this relationship with a lie. I said, I still find you a very attractive girl even though that you're a couple of stone heavier than what you see in your profile. So at the end of the day, don't start off with a lie. Again, you've got to find common interests. Now, bearing in mind, you're coming to a different culture. So they won't be like the Westerners and you know into this, that and the other. It's a total different culture. Now you coming to their country, you have to change, not they have to change. So bear that in mind also. So there's different culture differences, different feelings, different ways of living. Don't oversell yourself. Don't say you're better than anybody else and you're Mr. Superman and everybody should be with you because you're so fantastic to be with. Again, people can see through that. Just be normal, just be honest with everybody. Also, when you do online dating, it, you've got to look good. It's no good sat there wearing a muscle top singer shirt or a Chang shirt if, if you're fat and overweight. Wear a nice shirt, make yourself look presentable because at the end of the day, that first meeting that you're going to have on the internet tells a lot about yourself and about the person that you're going to be with. First impressions count both when you're first talking on the internet and when you first meet also. Now people on the web can be very deceitful and I know a few girls, should I say, that have three or four boyfriends at the same time talking to them on the internet. I actually know them personally because I just know them. Deceitfulness shows through at the end of the day. You can ask the certain questions. Like I don't like lying. I always tell the same story. So if anybody asks me, it's the same story. And if you tell the same story, then you never have to lie. But if you are talking to many different girls on the internet, it's easy to trip yourself up because you could be telling somebody one story and telling somebody else a different story. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's looking for honesty and reliability in their partners, whether the Thai or whether the foreigners. So if you start off with a lie, it's just going to build up and build up and build up, and then that's not very good for a good relationship. So getting started on the internet with regard to online dating, there are a couple of websites that I'm going to suggest. These are thaicupid.com, thaifriendly.com, and asiadating.com. Now, as I say, they're full of ladies on the internet, 
and you'll be spoilt for choice. But like I said, there are thousands of girls on there and they're talking to thousands of men all over the world. So be prepared to be sharing the girl that you're talking with and be honest to yourself that she's going to be talking to other men because at the end of the day as well, she's looking for the perfect partner to, or the perfect sponsor to be with. And they'll ask for money and if you don't send them anything, then they'll just ignore you and just move on. So is this, this the type of person you want to be with? Like I said, the internet, online dating over here is full of obstacles. It's like walking in a minefield. You're going to hit a few, you're going to get angry, you're going to be disappointed. But the next thing to do is just move on and just take it on the chin and just move forward. So if eventually you do get to Thailand and you're meeting the girl, bear in mind you might have been talking for months and months and months, but when you actually meet them, and it, it just a, it's a totally different feeling, it totally is. And I've been told by many people that it's not the person they fell in love with on the internet. Things have changed and they are not the person that they were talking to months and months and months ago or being talked to the same person for months. So be aware of that and don't do like what this person does, Thailand revenge. Just take it on the chin. You're big enough and old enough to move on and find somebody that is right for you. So I hope this video has been interesting and please watch these videos that I'll put up here. These will give you a bigger insight into the online dating here in Thailand. And for those people who want the free ebook, leave your email address, send it to my email, and I'll send you a copy as soon as I can. I don't pass your emails on to anybody else. This is just me, just trying to add a little bit of extra to my channel and give further information that I can. And reading this ebook will open your eyes, hopefully, and make your online dating, if you're doing online dating, a better and safer and happier event. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Until the next video, bye for now.